Hello, it's Texas Tim here again. How's it going, everybody? Today we want to dig into the heart of the Nitro kit, which is the Nitro module. So we're going to start out by reviewing the top panel. First and foremost, you've got a volume knob, which is always very important, so you can turn up and down your volume. This start and stop button starts and stops your songs, and this is save button is where you save your kits. These are very important buttons up here. Uh, this is your three normal modes up here, song, kit, voice, which is your sounds or instruments. And then if you hold your page select button, these buttons control your patterns, rhythms, and beats. So let's stick in normal mode. So the click is obviously your metronome, so you kick that on, kicks it on and off your click. When you're playing your songs, this drum off button means you're muting your drum part. Record button lets you record your playing and you can record yourself playing to songs. Tempo, you punch that, gets in to see what your BPMs are. Utility is where you adjust your sensitivity and your MIDI note numbers. Play and practice kicks in and out. Uh, you're playing along with your learning mode features. These buttons down here are basically just like your pads, but they're very handy on the module. One of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to edit your kits, all right? So there's 40 drum sets in there. 25 of them are preset in there. They're really good. They're fun to play. But the 15 you got in there, you can change any sound and put them anywhere, all right? So let's go in up here. Song, if I want to change my song, I would be there. And these arrow buttons obviously change your values. Kit is where I change my kits. Let's pick kit number one. Now let's go into voice. If I keep hitting voice over and over, I get into my different parameters that I can adjust of my voices or I can use the page select button here. I'm in voice and it says number 52. If I hit the tom, it goes to 116. So as I hit the different pads, it tells me what voice is in on, on that pad in this kit. So let's do the snare drum. So if I want to edit change a snare drum, I'd just change it. I could put any sound on there. I can put a bass drum, anything I want. So let's take that snare drum. Now say I want to edit that snare drum, so I push voice again, and it's a volume. So say in my, in my, drums, my drum kit, I want it lower, I just bring the lower the volume down or up. Very easy. Hit it again, pan, so I can pan any drum to the left or to the right or keep it in the center. Hit it again, get into the pit. So say I want a lower snare drum. Say I want a piccolo. Very easy to do. Hit it once again, I can add more reverb or take it all the way off. Okay. I can even assign one of the uh, songs to any one of my pads. So you got some considerable editing on your, on your kits and your voices. Very easy to use. So that's it for today. Go out to your local music store. Check out the Nitro kit. It's really killer. And go to leases.com because we've got a lot more little short videos like this for you. Thank you very much.